Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial on how to draw wild animals. Before we start of course, if you could subscribe that would be great, thank you very much. And also ring that little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well the wild animal today is a rhino. And uh, I'm going to sketch in the back first of all. It's a very long, low slung kind of animal. And I want to imagine the back as like a, like a range of, of hills. So you come up on a slope like that. And then the first kind of lumpy hill into the shallow valley and up to another slightly more pointed hill. That's the shoulder. And that there is a kind of hip area. Oops. Coming down over the by another little hill there, coming sloping down, and that's coming down towards the tail. Now this end here, see that kind of hill shape there? Coming down a wee bit more steeply now, because the head is going to be hanging kind of forward. And as you get down to here, you get um, the, one of the ears appearing in here, kind of shape there, and uh, the other ear would appear over here, as the open shape there. Like that. Now the forehead continues past the ear like that, it comes out kind of straight and then it goes down quite quickly like that. And this is the first of the horn, the shorter horn appears curving like that. Okay, and the other horn actually butts up against it but a lot longer, comes out like that, up to a point there. Like that, okay. Kind of draw it onto the rhino's nose over there. Now the eye appears just opposite the smaller horn. It comes in about here. The lines are very small eyes. That eyesight's not very good at all. You get that kind of wrinkly kind of appearance there. And that, of course, like the elephant, the rhino had lots of wrinkly skin that you have to draw in. Get that. And if we go back up here for a second. We've got lots of kind of wrinkly lines coming around the ear. Like that. We're putting these in later in more detail. Now below that we have the actual nose itself. You get a couple of wrinkles and it appears like that. There's one nostril and the front of the upper lip if you like comes down like that. Pretty long and curves back up again. And there's its inside of its mouth there. And its chin again, lots of wrinkles coming up like that, in that kind of shape there. And uh, up to the neck area, and because it's bending down, we've got a nice couple of big wrinkles here in the skin, very thick wrinkled skin. See that big kind of wrinkle there. Another wrinkle coming up over here because its legs are going forward. And you get a nice wrinkle at the top of the leg there. And as it comes forward, shortish legs, you know, um, broader at the top, and broaden out here, and a nice big loose skin here like that. And at the bottom, it kind of branches out into big thick toes. You get one toe there, another toe coming in like that, another toe behind it. Now, as I said, the rhino's got this long, low slung body, so from about here, a bit of loose skin, you get a nice low slung belly underneath like that. See that there? Now just below this line here, this little short little hill if you like, this is where the back leg comes in. And imagine that as a knee shape, there's the knee coming in down there. It gets narrower as you come down to there, that's like an ankle. Comes up, join the back end of the rhino there. This comes down, but you know, imagine that line coming across here. I have another big toe appearing there like that. And then the back there, and the back foot, imagine it coming down behind that one there, and as if he's moving forward. So again, you get a couple of big wrinkles there, and the kind of ankle shape coming out, and the big toes like that. The other foot here will come in there. You get the sensation of the rhino walking forward with his head lowered. Not going to charge, I hope, but uh, <laughs> you never know. Have to be careful around like rhinos, I think. And you get a bit of shadow under there, nice sharp bit of shadow, the high African sun. 
and a wee stubby tail just coming down a bit there. Like that, okay? Now the right the as I say, the wrinkles of the rhino, mainly here and there and there, but lots of other small ones come around here and so on. A bit more around there, more around the eyes, more around the legs. And what you get sometimes are kind of crisscross wrinkles because of the skin kind of cracking up, so you get almost like a cross hatching. Okay, I'm just been working on the, the shading. You see it's looking a bit more three-dimensional now. Some more wrinkly lines down here. And as I said, you know, if you want to do some lines going across the way and then cut across those, the kind of broken lines, you'll get that kind of parched earth look of the skin all broken up. The wrinkles crisscrossing each other like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now is get a fine point pen and outline this uh, magnificent beast. Okay. And this will really bring out the shape. So basically, you know, again, use slightly broken lines to suggest the slight roughness of the skin. Come out with this great hump of the shoulder. Oops, down to the valley, like that, okay. When you get to things like the ears, of course, you can just use a much more fine line, like that, just to bring it out. And the outside there. And back onto the skin again, slightly wrinkled, come down to there. And then perhaps a bit more smooth for the, the horn. Coming in there. And 
Okay, and right round the entire shape, which I'll carry on and do right now. Right, and just uh, need the finishing touches to the outline here around these big toes of his or hers. <laughs> Right, right up to there. Okay. Another little bit of line there. Okay, so I've cut all the main lines, including the main creases in the skin and so on. And um, possibly what I'll do is get a, a fine pen and just indicate a few of these wrinkles a bit... Uh, more boldly coming in like that, okay. Coming in there, there's a big wrinkle coming in there, and maybe even bring some more deep shading in here across the bottom, like that. Yeah, we're looking for a you know, uh, quite an artistic looking impression. Of the other rhino, you know, like that. Come in there and follow these down here, and maybe a few across like that. A couple more there. Excellent. Well, I think that gives you a nice strong idea of uh, this magnificent animal. And just to finish off, I'll put uh, this, this line of dark shadow under here. That kind of browns your drawing. Like that. It's a little bit tailing off, it gets to the back, like that. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you can join me again for another tutorial. But in the meantime, of course, all the best, and happy drawing!